Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. For today's video, I really want to touch on a vlog that I uploaded about two or three weeks ago. And it was basically a vlog of me doing some runarounds and then ultimately ending up at a salon and getting my first ever Diva Curl cut. I did show you guys the before, the after, my reaction, how I was feeling, all these amazing things in the vlog, which I will leave linked at the end of the video and also down below if you don't make it to the end of the video. <laughs> but I really wanted to elaborate on that video and really give you guys my honest opinion of the salon, the person that cut my hair, some of the tips that they shared with me and what I've been using lately to keep up with my haircut. I am in love, I am obsessed, and I just want to share because, I mean, hair to women is like like the best accessory you have. You can style it in so many different ways and we have to take care of it. So I'm just going to dive right into it and um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I went to Utopia Salon and Spa here in New, in New Jersey. It's actually located in Westfield, New Jersey. I will leave the address and phone number linked down below as well if you live in New Jersey and you're looking to get a Diva Curl cut. Um, I found them on social media and um, I ended up going and it was an amazing experience. I learned some things that um, I do put to use and I don't really use but it was overall an amazing experience. The person who cut my hair was Chris and he was awesome. I'll leave his Instagram link down below as well if you guys want to check out his work. He does more than just natural hair so if you have straight hair or you're coloring your hair, he does it all. Um, he made my experience overall very easy. As women, a haircut or a trim can be a little nerve-wracking because sometimes in our mind we have this idea of what we want our hair to look like and sometimes it doesn't execute the way that we imagined and he made it very easy for me very easy for me especially because it was my first time. Every trim or haircut I've ever gotten it's always been at like a Dominican salon or a Spanish salon or even a Portuguese salon and they've always cut my hair or trimmed my hair straight and at the time it looks amazing but then I eventually wash my hair and it's not really the same. Um, when I called I made my appointment and they mentioned to come in with your hair washed and with zero zero to minimum product in it and I went with zero product. I really wanted them to see my hair in its natural state so they know exactly how to cut it because sometimes using products or maybe all the time using product can manipulate the natural state of your hair. So I went and I explained to Chris that I wanted um, my hair to really be even. I do a lot of like layers or long layers or I did layers and long layers when my hair was straight and you know if you have natural hair you natural hair you know you get that little like rat tail which is basically the long layer that doesn't shrink with the rest of the hair so your hair is all one length and then in the back you just have that long piece hanging out so I asked him if he could remove that which he did I asked to trim my bang I love a good bang when my hair is out or maybe if I want to put my hair up so he did a very nice like not short length but like medium length bang and I asked for some shape and some body because every time I would wash my hair because I had the long layers when it would dry it did that like triangle thing and it just like irritated my soul so he did all those things for me I felt very confident um I did let him know that length wasn't a priority for me. I obviously didn't want my hair too short. I do have to put it up once in a while. I can't, I can't have it out all the time. And I feel like he understood what I was saying and he gave me exactly what I wanted. So Chris did an amazing job. Um, I'm definitely probably going to stick with him. But I just want to make it clear that everybody at the salon is certified to cut natural hair. But I really had an amazing experience with him. So he dry cut my hair. I had someone else wash it and apply product to it and then once they diffuse it he went back and just trimmed the little pieces little pieces here and there just to make sure everything flowed amazing and 
I loved it, honestly. So, after they dry cut your hair, you get your hair washed, and while you're in the chair and the sink, they actually apply the product in it. And the first tip that they told me was to keep your hair wet when applying product. It's not going to matter how much product you apply to your hair if your hair is dry. The end result is not going to be what you imagine. It's not going to be what you think. Your hair needs to be wet to really, I guess, connect with the product for the end result. So that's one thing I have been incorporating. I always come out the shower and immediately put product in my hair. But since I do it in sections, the front may be a little drier than the back was when I apply the product. And I just keep a little spray bottle handy and now I feel like I'm getting the same result the whole way through. Um, you spend majority of your time in that chair and I loved it. They really take their time with you know, sectioning your hair and applying the product evenly. After you get out, it's like this like tall round thing and it just like circles your head for a little bit and then they'll come and they'll diffuse your hair. I personally don't diffuse my hair so I'm not really going to touch on it too much but at the salon they do diffuse it. So the overall experience was amazing like I said and um, they do suggest you know what when to go back. I personally will be back in like five to six months Chris mentioned to me. He I mean also if I notice that I need to go back sooner, then obviously I will make the appointment for sooner. But he said five months, and so far, so good. Um, I'm going to touch on a, the products that I use in my hair, and then I'm going to end the video accordingly. I don't want to be ranting too much. So, I did wash my hair yesterday. I wanted to leave it out for you guys so you could see. But if you have natural hair, you know that it has a mind of its own, and it just wasn't a good hair day out but the poof is mm, popping if I may say so myself and um, yes yeah. the first thing that I use in the shower is the Palmer's coconut oil formula conditioning shampoo and it just looks something like this and um, I really like this shampoo it does lather but it doesn't dry out the hair um, and one of my own personal tips this was not a tip that they told me at the salon this is just something that I do on my own I've heard from a few girlfriends and a few people and I just add a little tea tree oil in my shampoo to help with the dryness the frizziness and I've heard it helps with hair growth personally I just cut my hair a few weeks ago so I don't know um, but I will let you know so just be mindful if you are going to do the tea tree oil tip to make sure that you're not allergic to tea tree oil because you're going to come out of the shower looking crazy. The next thing that I use is the OGX um, Argan Oil of Morocco line. And I just, um, I use their, their conditioner. And it looks something like this. Um, it's one of my favorite conditioners. It has a really thick formula. It's not going to slip off your hands. So I really feel like it hugs my hair and gives it that extra moisture. So I apply it, I detangle it, and then I leave it in my hair maybe for a few minutes. I leave it on there just to get that extra moisture in my hair. And it's also sulfate free. So I really like the way my hair feels when I come out of the shower. It's super soft, but it doesn't weigh it down too much. So when I've come out of the shower, I normally apply hair cream. Let me go on the steps that I use it. So first, I apply the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask. And I use the Avocado Extract, um, I guess, flavor? Is it flavor? I don't know. Um, these things, number one, smell amazing. I have to put that out there. Like, if you use this, then you know it really does smell really good. Um... But the thing I like about this is you can use it as a hair mask or you can use it as a leave-in. But I use it for a leave-in and I just apply it all over my hair and when I section it off I apply it as well. And after I've applied that I like to apply the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Curl Styler Cream Pudding that looks something like this. This formula is so amazing. It literally gets every inch of your hair. There is no frizzies and no flyaways. And I like that even though it could be like two or three days later, you can still see my curl shape. Whereas sometimes if it gets a little frizzy, it just looks like a huge poofball. 
Um, after I apply those two, I always apply oil and I'm going back to the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco brand and I use the extra penetrating oil for dry and coarse hair. Um, they do have one that isn't for dry and coarse hair, but I grabbed this one because I thought it might be a little bit more of a thicker formula. It has a a thick formula but it doesn't weigh it down and I always put it on after cream I always mentioned to myself this little rhyme that I learned like so long ago but it's like um, oil oil then cream frizz machine cream then oil perfect coil so oil after every cream every you never put oil before you put cream and I have noticed a difference it does it does make a difference because I used to put oil first and then put cream but the difference is way better when you put the oil at the end these are all the things I've been using in my hair and I have seen a huge huge difference so um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I upload new videos every Sunday um, yeah if you have any questions or comments leave them down below these next few videos are going to be hair related so anything that you guys want to see let me know if you want to see how I do my wash and go how I do my braid out now that my hair is shorter how I do a twist out how I cornrow my hair it's just I'm really just playing around and figuring out like what works for me what looks best on me and really enjoying my hair so that's it guys I will see you in my next video bye